between part two, chapter 11 of Coming of Age in Mississippi, Anne begins to hate people when she's 15 years old. And while she hates the murderous Southern whites, she hates the Negroes even more for not standing up for themselves. Mrs. Burke's guild meetings increase, and soon most white people in Centerville join the guild. White women begin accusing their young black maids of seducing their husbands. In fact, Anne explains that just about every white man in Centerville had a Negro lover. Deputy Sheriff Fox is caught with his young employee Bess, though only Bess's reputation is ruined. The Guild also gossips about black men seducing white women. Even though this type of affair is almost impossible, black men still fear the gossip's consequences after Till's death. Anne's classmate Jerry is attacked and beaten by white men. Then another shocking crime happens. The home of the Taplin family is burned down with the family still inside. The black spectators at the crime scene look hopeless. Anne is still haunted by those screams, those faces, that smoke. She's traumatized passing the house on her way home from school. As Centerville discusses the Taplin burning, they learn the Taplin's neighbor, Mr. Banks, who is mixed race, was having an affair with a white woman. Anne becomes determined to leave Centerville. And that's why she asks her Uncle Ed if she can stay with him in Baton Rouge, Louisiana for the summer. Anne's a nuanced observer. She finds her fellow black Southerners just as guilty as white people are. When black people accept injustice and hate, Anne feels, they perpetuate their own oppression. When they act subservient to white people, they reinforce the idea Jim Crow laws are acceptable. The older Anne gets, the more she learns black Southerners often perform rituals of respect in order to survive and suffer permanent consequences if they speak up for themselves. And on the other side, she thinks the alternative is no kind of life to live. Moody refers to several black people, particularly black authority figures, as Uncle Toms or Toms in the book. The term comes from Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, where the character of Uncle Tom is a black slave. It refers to a black person who's eager to win white approval and who cooperates with white authorities at the expense of fellow black people. Anne is wary of Uncle Tom's and sees them as devious traitors who endanger members of the black community. 